Back now on uh, Try Today, and let's focus on family, shall we? Project family specifically, and a good friend of ours of the show who's been here before. Next to me, with me, Tanya Foltz is Project Family Engagement Coordinator for Goodwill Industries of Northwest North Carolina, serving a huge area. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Um, for people that maybe haven't heard about this before or just moved in the area, give me a brief description of what Project Family is all about. So Project Family, we work with the families that are affected by incarceration, specifically the kids. So we want to be an advocate for the kids and sort of help them understand what's really happening and then when the parent comes home, what does that look like when the parent comes home to have a smooth transition? And when you say kids, are you, I mean, I don't want to put you on the spot with any rehearsals. Are we talking about up to a certain age or? Up to 18. Up to 18. From zero to 18. And especially in those adolescent years, uh, you know, if you have a, a parent mm -hmm. coming home from having been incarcerated, it can't be easy. No. Uh, what, what are some of the, give me a, not a whole list, but give me a couple examples of services that, uh, that you might offer to a family who's in this situation? So we specifically, we want to work with the parent and caregiver to find out what is the best interest of the kids. Should they be moved when the parent gets home? Or should there be like a transition of let them stay here, you get to know them a little bit better because every situation is different. Um, it's kind of like divorce and they carry the baggage of what's happened before, but really does that look at what is the best for the kids? And so I provided, um, assisted with basic needs. I helped a mother find beds for their kids who didn't have beds, um, maybe help pay a light bill, um, find resource, but it also could be um, counseling. So as you say, like the, the adolescent who is mad, the parent has been in and out of their life and what does that look like? So we help them resolve that, but we also want to connect them with other kids that are going through the same thing so they're not alone. Right, and you're focusing on children and, and kids, I understand that, but just as an aside, because we've talked about this before on the show, it could be the person coming out of having been incarcerated or his or her spouse who maybe needs to look at some employment or a career Absolutely. change and goodwill helps with that too. Yes. Now, let me ask you, all the things you're talking about that you help with, which I think is great, has any of that been affected by the pandemic in terms of the way you deliver the services? Um, it, we've had to get creative. So we've done some virtual, we've done a lot of phone conversations. We do meet with them um, in our office, um, just the COVID requirements and mask and all of that. But we have continued to serve them throughout the whole COVID. And since you mentioned it's called Project Family, I'm just assuming, and based on what you've told me a minute ago, uh, that anybody who's been in a situation to have been incarcerated or their family members, mm -hmm. so they're all eligible, right? Yes, everyone But is. now do they, would the person who's coming out of in prison, let's say, or the spouse have to pay you a fee to get these services? They're all free and um, we, they're done by the sales of the donations at the store. So nothing is, uh, I'm out of pocket for any of the families. And you have a special project uh, planned for the holiday season. It's something about a, what, an angel tree? Angel tree. So I'm very excited. This year we're going to serve almost 100 kids and um, we provide a Christmas gift for each of the children on behalf of their incarcerated parent. So it's building that connection because um, the parent's not there and every child gets a note specifically from their parent saying they love them. Um, so we're building that. Isn't that great? Yeah, it's awesome. I just think that's super. I want to put some information up on screen because there's a lot of it to, to, uh, to look at here so we don't lose time. Project Family, uh, uh, mc.org. Uh, now, is that, uh, is that NC or N? NWNC. N NWNC, okay, Project Family, NWNC.org. Or you can call 724-3625, and I think your extension is uh, 1332? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, also, uh, careersbygoodwill.org is another good one to check out. And the general Goodwill web website is goodwillnwnc.org. Um, and that, of course, stands for Northwest North Carolina. Uh, so I wanted to make sure we got all that in. And a reminder, since you touched on it, uh, Tanya, to please continue to donate your household items to Goodwill because those are taken to the Goodwill retail store. They are sold, and the proceeds go to help programs like Project Family. So I hope you'll do that. Thanks for doing Thank that. Thank you. We'll be right back.